After extensive research, the Provincial Historic Commemorations Program designated the cultural landscape that includes the beaches and the Bloody Bay Cove Quarry as a place of provincial significance. Since 1989, continuing archaeology at the beaches and Bloody Bay Cove sites has developed with local participation by the people of the community of Burnside. As a result, archaeologically, Bonavista Bay has become one of the best surveyed areas on the island of Newfoundland. At this time, I invite Laura McLean, archaeologist from the, with the Burnside Heritage Foundation, to join me and Francoise as we officially commemorate the cultural landscapes that includes the beaches and Bloody Bay Cove Quarry as a place of provincial significance under the Provincial Historic Commemorations Program. Commissioned researcher Robert Cuff noted that archaeological study of the area shows that all of the known pre-contact cultures of Newfoundland had once inhabited the beaches. Archaeologist Laurie McLean has been studying the area since 1989 and he accepted the award on behalf of the BHF. So this is area A. Area A is the remnant of the Beothic village. There's seven Beothic houses through here. At the end of this boardwalk across the bog, there's area B. That's Paleo Eskimo and Beaches Indian, we call that. And then further south of that, the erosion has taken away uh, the maritime archaics part of the site. So what we're looking at today is a 4,000 square meter area here, about 10% of the original size of the site. McLean discovered a rhyolite stone quarry in 1990, which turned out to be the largest Aboriginal quarry on the island of Newfoundland. So about six kilometers to the southwest up Bloody Reach, up the Cowpath, which was known as a different name to those Aboriginal people for sure, uh, they could obtain this rhyolite. And so the work that we've done here and the archaeology before us in the 70s and 60s uh, all established Bloody Bay Cove rhyolite as the main source of stone for the people that were living here. To find out more about the Burnside Heritage Foundation's work and the designation as a place of provincial significance, visit our website at digthequarry.com. Join us now as we delve deeper into the lives of the people that once lived at the beaches and who mined rhyolite stone from the Bloody Bay Cove Quarry to make the tools essential to their survival. We hope you enjoy this presentation of To The Core.